resources are the fundamental link for the project plan. They determine its budget and the allocation of work. Resources are divided into work and materials. Those of the work type depend directly on the duration of an activity, as for example, a worker. On the other hand, material resources are those consumed along the activity and do not depend on its duration, as for instance, a bag of cement or a roll of paper. Click on View. View bar. On the view bar, click on Resource Sheet. To give a name to a resource, click on the first cell of the column Resource Name. The type of resource used in the project can be of the work type, people or equipment or material, supplies or inventories. Select work. The field of the column initials should be filled with letters that facilitate the identification of resources. The column group identifies to which group, department or sector the resource belongs. In the column Max Units, we determine the quantity of work resources that are simultaneously available. Click on Tools, Options. Click on the palette Schedule and in the field Show Assignment Units ASA. Instead of a percentage, choose Decimal. In our example, we have just one professional for attendance. In the column Standard Rate, the cost of each work resource per hour, day or normal month is indicated or the cost per unit of material. The column Overtime Rate refers to the cost per overtime hour of the resource and is only available for work resources. The cost per use is a fixed value for the utilisation of a resource irrespective of its quantity or the duration of a task. Each resource will have a form of payment that can be at the beginning of a task, at the end of it or even apportioned. Since attendance is an employee of the producer and receives per day work, the selected option should be prorated. To determine the activity calendar of each resource, we use the column Base Calendar. The last field of the resource sheet is the code in which are stored data such as the job ID number of the employee and inventory code of the material. As an example of a material resource, we have the paint that would be used to paint the studio. Only in the case of material resources, we will have the column material label, which corresponds to the measure unit inserted for a material resource. In this case, the label will be tin. Observe how the fields are filled in. To accelerate the work on our video, we will open the file of project video 03 with the list of resources. The project has specific tables that display only the enabled fields for each type of resource. To make use of these tables, click on View table, more tables. In the box, more tables, select the desired option and click on apply. The choice of these input tables does not filter the data so that the input tables for work resources can show the material resources and vice versa. In order to filter these data and only show the desired resources, access the tool filter and select the option Resource Material or Resource Work according to your need.